So in this video today, we're going to be reviewing this, and we've got this one as well. So this one's mine, and that's Dylan's. And we're also going to be reviewing the Twisted Messes RDA, and also some that was sent to me, well, that was given to me, for a competition for free, and I said that I would review it. Pasha Mama, Packer Mama, whatever you want to call it, by Charlie's Chalk Dust. And I also have the Royal Hunter. But that might be coming in a different video. I've ordered a tsunami, so we're going to do an RDA video. We did the Velocity, the Raw Hunter, the Twisted Messes, and my tsunami. <clears throat> also, repping the Momo E Liquid t shirt. I love his t shirt, it's so comfy. <laughs> the Alien, it's a 220 watt box mod made by Smock. Comes with a carbon fiber, comes with a side firing bar. Just like the H Priv, but obviously the button on this is a lot clicky, whereas that is it's it's literally just metal. It's the metal hitting that bit when it comes back out. So I prefer it and it's a lot lighter, isn't it? Yeah. But definitely. When, you, when you compare it with a three battery RX two hundred S, it's nothing. But yeah. I've so I've got some of this um liquid in my tank. I actually really like it. The flavour profile for it is peach papaya with coconut cream. So nice, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, what have you nice got in yours? Liquid. I've actually got Vapor Depots. If you can just see it, the Rainbow Candy. We'll be reviewing that in the next video. video which you'll, you're going to get two tonight because we were going to do one last night and we spoke to Vapor Depot. We were going to do it last night. I had work though. I got called into work and I didn't get home till like half ten. So it was just too late. Dylan was at home anyway, so we said we'd do it today. Hmm. We've got a different video that we're going to input into this, just going through the contents of the box, just showing you what you get in the box. So obviously get your mod, Let a little bit of for accessories, you. and just showing you what we've got basically in the video to review. So here we have the two alien boxes. This is just a little hands-on shot. If you open them up, the gunmetal one. We got the orange one, it was mine and Dylan's. And then this liquid was given to me for free. I won a competition, so I told them I was going to put it into a review. It's the Pasha Mama, Packer Mama, whatever you want to call it, by Charlie's Chalk Dust. And then there's Twisted Messes RDA. And it comes with all the different coloured bands, gold. Black, an extra chuff cap, nice little metal one, and a 510 adapter, and then in the box, all your usual smock safety stuff, and then you get the baby beast, where well, you get a spare glass with a baby beast, you get the actual baby beast, Dylan's already primed his. And then, yeah, so it's exactly the same in my box. There's no, there's no point really opening it and going through it. It's exactly the same. But yeah. Yeah, overall it's a good mod. I used to use the RX200 as a daily mod, but it was way too heavy and inconvenient. Whereas the Alien is very small, fits in hand nice, and is just easy to stick in your pocket if you're out and about. or It's just a lot more convenient. As well as it only takes two batteries, so it is a lot lighter. So the Twisted Messes RDA, I've got it on my RX 200S, just because look, look, how, look at that. Look how they match. It's, it, match. it's almost identical. And also, they do the, it's the gold AF. You can obviously guess what the gold AF stands for. And it comes with different top cap sleeves. I think that's the term, top cap sleeves. You've got your gold, your black. I I just love it on the RX 200s, but the gold the gold AF one comes in gold, blue, and a sort of well it's gunmetal. It's literally the gold metal off the alien. Dylan's gonna get his next week, so we'll do a review of that as well. Hopefully, I should have my tsunami by then, so that will probably be in the video. But it does look 
Yeah, it looks naughty, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> but yeah, the Alien, the thing I do like about it, it gives you the dual battery reading, it gives you the board temperature, it gives you puff counter, all the normal stuff. The screen on it is ridiculous. It's massive and it's so clear, that OLED screen. As you compare to other Smok products, it's tiny. And the thing I've noticed about the H-Priv is if you use a dripper on it, which has happened to me, if you use a dripper on it, the screen fogs up. Obviously, I've never had that with my Alien. I've never had that with my RX200S because the screen's nowhere near the dripper. But yeah, it's not going to be a very long video, this video. We know we said we were going to bring it out yesterday, but obviously we've explained that we were both busy yesterday. And we actually, uh, during the day, we went to build an old vape shack. Um, we're going to leave a link in the description for their Instagram and their Facebook. Check them out. They're an amazing shop. They've just opened a new shop in um, Stone Market. And on the 4th of December, they've got a meet-up. They're opening in for the day on the Sunday. You can go in. They're going to have coil building sessions, liquid tasting, everything. Just come along. We some free nibbles, donuts, and everything. But yeah, it's yeah, a good day. day. Get to meet us. Get to meet the people who run the company. Get some coils built for you. Test out. I don't. If you want to come and test out the alien, if you can't afford to buy one of them, got any in stock? Because when I went to the shop yesterday, I managed. Dylan bought his yesterday from the shop, and I also sold. I also persuaded a guy to get an alien as well, so I got both of them sold for them. Um, but if you want to try out the RX two hundred S. The Alien, the H Priv, and the RX200. Just well, we're going to take them all with us. So if you want to try them, feel free. You can see them. find us. Have a Pro chat. You'll probably hear us <laughs> standing there blowing rings. You'll hear us coughing. <coughs> but yeah, it's a good tank as well. Mm. I, I don't. I would prefer. Um, if the wattage was a bit higher for it, because I max it out at 80, that's just the recommended max. You can use it at 110, but... Shit. You can use it at 110, but I don't really... I, just, I don't want to test the coil a bit too much. I've got the octuple 0.15 ohm coil in there. It's fine, I like it. I vape it 110 if I want, but I don't really do it often. It's good. It's, a, it's got a good vapor production for a small, for a small wattage uh, micro coil. Whenever you compare it to a dripper, and you fog out the camera. You use this. quite a lot of vapour but not too much it's one of those I think it's, it definitely is an all day kit whereas you can go out with it and you ain't got to worry about dripping on it it's quite thirsty for juice but you're not going to be you're not going to be completely throwing the clouds but you are going to get some very good clouds off it yeah. and I perfect I absolutely agree with rip drippers indoor smokers mic vapes um, it's it's just a brilliant kit. I've wanted them. I've wanted the Alien before it came out. I wanted it in August. Couldn't find it anywhere, and obviously it got dropped last month. It's a good kit, isn't it? Yeah, because you got it. When did you get it? I bought this on Tuesday, but I bought it with student discount. Because my girlfriend's a student. And then, as she do, <laughs> I came over a couple of days later. Had a go on the Alien. Had to get one. He lit. He literally. He had the baby beast on it. He literally sat down there. My duvet was on the floor because my brother was in here. His girlfriend was in here. Me and Dylan were both in here. He sat on the floor. He had what two puffs on it, and he was like, yeah. "I need to get one." But it's just an amazing mod for the price. It's, it's so light as well. It's, it's a light mod. It's sm it's a good fit in the hand. It's not too flimsy. So if you drop it, it's just two eighteen six fifties. Got a nice little door. Screen's big, it's comfortable. As you see with a dripper, absolutely fine. What flavour is that? Ah. Uh, so in our last proper video, we were talking about DIY, and we've actually started making some. This is Nana Mint, sort of a Wrigley's spearmint. 
slash maybe a little peppermint, more well, more peppermint flavored chewing gum. And it is really nice. I need to stop blowing it that way because it's going in your face. I'm gonna sit this way a little bit. So yeah, it's more of a peppermint bu uh, peppermint chewing gum, but we've made the nana mint, we've made black currant menthol, black currant and raspberry menthol, mango menthol, root beer. Also, what are some flavour concentrates will be in a video? Because what we're going to start doing is, when we review stuff, we're going to review it with proper premium liquid, and we're going to review it with our own liquid, because it gives it more of a personal touch to the video. So, um, just a little add in there. Um, we're not looking for sponsors, and we're not looking for people just to chuck us free stuff, but we do want to have a few companies possibly send us some free liquid to try out possibly send us an RDA or a bit of their equipment to send out and then we'll do a review on it and stick it straight up for them. But again, we're not expecting free stuff off everyone. We're not expecting people just to chuck us 75 quid mods and expensive stuff, just a few little bottles of liquid to review. And it, um, as we said in our, in our other videos, that we're not, we're not doing this for free stuff. We're doing this because we enjoy it and we enjoy getting new stuff to try out and use and then reviewing it, trying new liquids. Um, so we're not doing it just to try and get free stuff, we're just trying to help other people out. We're both 20 so we're quite young and a lot of people at our age do smoke so that's just trying to give more information about new mods, different mods they can try or if they're looking for a specific mod, we may have already reviewed it but we're just trying to give out some tips and pointers and just Help the vapor community out. So that's pretty much it for this video. We're gonna be uh, we're gonna film our next video in a minute, and then we're gonna edit them both, and then get them out to you guys as soon as we can. But thanks for sticking around. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell us how you feel, give us some pointers or how you found the video. I'll we'll leave the links to our social media so you can get. If you need to go on or contact us, feel free. And you can also find anything we've spoken about in this video in the links below, so we attached a smock website. Yeah, literally. Down here, all of them. So yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I didn't swear once. I know. We decided in our videos to not swear anymore. It's just, it's not needed. We can reach a better audience. It looks a bit more professional. But yeah. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next video.